Hi, my name is Lori. Welcome to the Near Family YMCA. We are going to be doing a strength and core class today using only body weight. Um, you can feel free to use some weights if you want to with the exercises, but they're geared towards um, a base level with your body weight and feel free to modify with even modifications throughout the class. Only thing you really need is a chair um, and if you want to add anything else to it, you can do that yourself. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started with a nice warm up, getting those legs and arms moving together. So we're going to start with just a side step. So you're going to stand with the feet about shoulder width and we're just going to step over and bring it back in. Just like you're stepping over onto that one foot. Not a big step. We're not going into a lunge, just a little mini squat or weight shift. So as if we're going to step over and pick something up off the shelf on the right. So we're using that weight shifting and some movement. Very nice. Good. Just that one side feeling that shift. I want you to actually put weight on that foot, bring it back in. Working that core. Every time you shift that way, you have to brace through that core. So nice breathing. Let's change to the other side. Ready and switch. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Stepping onto that foot. Remember, if you're reaching over here to touch something on the wall, shifting your weight, working on that weight shift. Really good for that balance. Remember, you can slow down the pace. You don't have to go at any particular pace with me. Go with what feels comfortable for you and you feel safe. You can always have a chair in front of you to touch. All right, we're going to alternate those. Now we're going to switch to an alternating, so it's going to be right and left. Just getting some movement going. And we're going to add those arms. Reach out, reach out, reach out. And out. So we're opening up that chest, squeezing that shoulder blade together in the back. Still shifting your weight. You're stepping onto that foot each time, shifting your weight. You get that little squeeze in the shoulder blade. Excellent. Getting everything warmed up, getting this movement going. Going to get a nice strength workout today without any equipment unless you want to add it. Good, let's give me four more of these, and four, and three, and two, and we're gonna go to the back with the legs. So we're gonna tap behind, tap behind. So I want you to actually put a little weight on the ball of that foot, stepping back behind you, shifting the weight. Good. Now we're going to add a little bit of arms to that as well. So every time you step back, we're going to lift those arms up in front. What we're doing by adding those arms is warming up the shoulders, but also getting the heart rate up a little bit. But you always want to warm up a little bit before you start doing any strength training. A little walk around the block, moving your arms and your legs, getting everything loosened up. Very important. Nice step back into the ball of that foot. Looking good. Four more of these and three and two. We're going to bring it a knee lift in the front. So it's up and up. Just a nice march. Knee up, knee up. So what we want to watch for here is that we're shifting our weight and balancing and not falling back down on that leg each time. We want to control the lower. And once again, we're going to add the arms to it. Little arm lift. If you want to swing it all the way up over the head, that's going to get that heart rate up a little bit faster. If you have shoulder issues or you're not ready to quite go that high intensity with your heart rate, keep the arms down around shoulder height. Or just lose the arm part all together. Getting it going almost there. And we're going to hit four more of these in three, and two, and one, and down. Let's do some weight shifting right and left, just as you're 
Stretching out those hips, shifting your weight to your right leg and your left leg, and let's add some arm movement for that. Loosening up the hips, loosening up the shoulders again. Feeling that moving up and over, up and over. All right, last four on this side. We're gonna switch to the other side and three, and two, and one. Switch into the other side, up and over, up and over. You really want to push into the foot on each leg. Feel the hip weight shift to one foot and then to the other. It's really good at loosening up those hips. If you have a tight lower back, keeping those hips loose will help that back pain. Good, nice reaching. Looking good, keep moving, keep moving. Push it up and over. And we got four more of these, last four. And three, and two, last one, and over. Just a couple of little gentle stretches here to move things out a little bit further. Pull that toe up towards you, straighten out your right leg. And let's just hinge from the hips and feel that stretch in the back of that leg that's out straight. And then rise back up. Let's bring it down again. Feel that stretch in the back of the leg. And rise back up. Last one. Let's hinge down. Pulling that toe back. Digging that heel in. Feeling that length in the back of that leg. And all the way up. Let's switch to the other leg. Extend that foot out. Dig the heel in. Pull the toe back. And let's hinge from the hips. Feel the length in the back of that leg. And rise back up. Listen to your lower back. So you want to brace through that core before you hinge forward. Nice tall chest. Your eyes are forward, not down at your foot. Feel the back of that straight leg and rise back up. We got one more of those. Hinge forward. Pushing that heel into the floor. Pulling that toe back. Feel that stretch. And rise back up. Let's bring those knees, I mean feet wide. And let's stretch that inner thigh. Bending one knee, stretching the other leg nice and straight. You want to make sure that you do push your hips back behind you so that this knee is not pushing way forward over your toe. And that's when you might want to use the back of a chair to help you balance or the back of your couch is a good choice. And then bring it all the way up. Switch to the other leg. You're bending one knee, straightening one leg. Feel the stretch in the inside of that leg. Pushing your hips back behind you so this knee over here doesn't go too far forward. And then rise back up. Let's bring those feet in together, and let's round and reach, opening up that upper back, rounding it out, and open, nice chest, stretch, one more time, round and reach, and then open big, squeeze, one more time, overhead now, we're going to push it up and over, reach for the ceiling, stretch those shoulders out, and roll it down, and last one, reach up, press to the ceiling, and release it down. Okay, now we're going to do some 30 second intervals working on strength for body weight. So first of all, we are going to start with some upper body work. We're going to do some bent over rows. And what you're going to do is hinge from the hips. You're going to bring your arms in. I'm going to get a little closer just so you can see. When you're bending forward, you're squeezing those elbows in by your waist, dropping it down, and then pulling them up high by your shoulders. So it's close and high. So it's a low row and a high row. So you're gonna alternate those. Bending forward is gonna make you use that core, which is part of this class, strength and core. If you need a break at any time, you just bring that body back upright and take your break. All right, here we go. We're gonna do those rows first. Ready and go. So you're gonna squeeze and squeeze. So if you have dumbbells and you wanna use those, you can have a dumbbell in each hand might want to shoot for a light weight until you see what weight works for you for this exercise. So the goal is on this one to use that upper back. Every time you pull in and out, you're using that lower back for stability because you're having to hinge forward. So if the back gets fatigued, then you just stand up and take that break. Very nice. Feel that work and stop. 30 seconds and back up. Now we're going to go into a squat. So just as if you were gonna sit in a chair but not quite as low, here we go. Squat down, back up. 
The arms in front of you will help to counter your weight so it's a little easier to balance. So you can go small squats or you can go into deep squats and have a chair behind you and tap the chair. You go where it works for you and your knees. Listen to your body. And if you want to add weights, you could be holding some dumbbells right here. Adding a little bit of weight to that. If you have a lot of knee issues and doing the repetitions is an issue, then hold it down and just do some pulse holes and then come back up when you can. Down and up or a straight hold is fine. And all the way up. All right, 30 seconds there. Now we're going to move it back to the rows. We're going to repeat the rows again. Get ready and go. Let's squeeze and squeeze. Upper back squeeze, upper back squeeze. The higher one's going to be a little bit harder, especially if you've chosen to have dumbbells in your hands. Squeeze in those shoulder blades, work in that upper back. And again, if you need a break, maybe you do five. And then you stand up, give your lower back a break, and then you hinge back down and you do five more. So do whatever works for your body. Squeeze in that upper back, we're working those shoulders, and done. Standing back up. Now we're gonna go to the squats again. Remember, you go as small or as big as you like. Ready? And begin. Down and up, squats down and up. Remember, you can have weights in your hands. So if you did, the weights might move a little bit forward as you're going down to help counter your weight and help your balance. If you're not using weights, you can bring those arms up to shoulder level and add a little bit of strength and core by just lifting your arms. So you really have to brace through that belly, getting those arms up, feeling that work going on. I'm going to take a break anytime you need it. And done. All right, we're gonna go for a third set here. If that was a lot for you, then take a break during the third set and we'll move on to a different exercise set. Ready? Back to the rows and squeeze and squeeze. Squeeze, good. So feel that upper back working. Lots of work going on. Good job, come on, squeeze and squeeze. Squeeze and squeeze. Thinking about the muscles you're using, those shoulder blades are coming in towards the spine each time. And stop, stand back up. Little break. We're gonna go back to the squats. This is your last round. Get ready and begin. Down and up. Feet about shoulder width apart. If you need to tweak it for your knees, you might need to turn the toes out a little bit. Just kind of see what works for your body. Arms can come up in front. So when those arms come up in front, think about pushing your hips back behind you further. Pushing into the heels with your weight so your knees do not go over your toes. So if you glance down, you can see your shoestrings. And stop. Good job. All right. Grab some water if you have some. We're going to move into some um, chest work. You can do these on your wall or you can do them on a chair. You can do them on the back of your couch. So if you have access to the back of your couch or a nice sturdy chair, make sure it's something that's not going to slide on you and that you feel comfortable using. So you don't want to use anything that's going to move. If you're going to use a chair, you want to push it up against the wall. Um, I don't have mine up against the wall, but I'm very aware of where I am, so I will be careful, but I would suggest that you not put all your body weight on something that's not stabilized. So we are going to start with push-ups on the bench or the wall. So if you're putting your hands on a wall, you're going to straighten your arms out, you're going to walk your feet back away from it, and you're going to do those push-ups on the wall. The further you walk your feet out, the harder it's going to be. So you find a spot where you can do that and you do whatever reps work for you. We're gonna go for 30 seconds here, but you can modify that out and I'll show you how to do that. Get ready and begin. Chest press or push up. Keeping the body straight if you can. If you're feeling strain in your lower back, then you need to choose a higher thing to push against. So it might need to be above the wall if you're using your couch. 
or maybe you just take a break. You can also hold it up here for a break. Do one, hold it up, take a break. Do one, hold it up, take a break. So you go with what works for you and bring it all the way up. All right, your exercise is gonna go with that exercise itself. It's gonna be some side lunges. So we're gonna do those feet nice and wide. We're gonna keep your feet um, pointed, uh, pointed straight forward and your feet are parallel. We're gonna do some side lunges. Moving right into that. Let's lunge side to side. So you wanna feel the stretch in the straight leg. And you want to make sure as you're going down that your hips are going back so you're not pushing this knee right here forward. So be very careful of that. And again, if you look down, you should be able to see those shoelaces. And if your knee is covering it up, then your knee is going too far forward. Keeping that lunge moving, keeping it moving. And if you wanted to add weights, you could hold your dumbbells right here in the front. That's going to be a little more work for that core. Stand it up. Take a break. So we're gonna go back into the push-ups on the wall, the, pet, the chair or your couch, whatever it is that you have you can use. Here we go, get ready. And begin. And those push-ups done. Remember you can hold it longer at the top. Do one, hold it. Make sure that you don't go further than your shoulders allow, so be careful. You shouldn't be feeling shoulder pain. If you do, you need to change it up, do something different. Make it easier, move, your, move to a wall instead of the couch. Nice presses, starting to feel some work going on. A lot of core here, because you have to stabilize this whole part. You're done. Stop. We're gonna go wide with those legs again. Supersetting the Legs and the arms, so now it's just the side lunge. Ready? And begin. So each time you straighten that leg, you're feeling a nice stretch in the inner thigh. Looking good. Let inner thigh working, keep it going, and stop. Take a little break again. We're gonna move back to your push-ups. If you need to pause it or skip a set, you feel free to do that. Here we go. Back in position and push-ups. Starting to feel that core work. You can just hold it here if you need to. Down and up. Almost there. And stop. Excellent. Going to go back to the side lunges. So let's bring it back with the feet wide. And dropping it right and left. And begin. Good thing about videos, you can pause it and take a longer break. <laughs> so you do what works for you. The goal is to keep moving. Remember, if three sets is a lot, then maybe you do two sets. Next time you do the video, you add in a set on one of the segments and progress yourself up from there. It's okay to be a little sore. You should not be in pain the next day. That means you've done a little bit too much. So be careful with overdoing it and stop. All right, we got our last set of chest press or push ups. Taking a little break here if you need it, a little longer if you need it. Last set, here we go. Hands down, feet out, and begin. Looking good, hang on. And done. All right, last round with the legs. Bring those feet wide. 
Ready, and bend one knee, and then the other. Remember, you're gonna to have to bend slightly forward for this so you can slide your hips back behind you. Keeping it moving, looking good. Almost there, hang on. Nice stretches in that straight leg and done. Alrighty, we have one more set standing, then we're gonna to go to the chair for some core work. Um, a little more specific to the core. We're gonna do um, some stationary lunge work. So that means you're gonna step forward with your right foot, lift your back heel off the floor, and you're gonna drop down into a nice stationary lunge here. We're gonna do pulses. So if pulses bothers your knee, then maybe you just hold that position and work your balance. Ready, and go. So feeling that stretch in the back leg. The front of the back leg is where you're gonna feel some work going on. If you're feeling that back knee, then maybe you just hold it and just work the balance on holding it here and feeling the strength from just stationary work. That's perfectly fine. Think about the top of the head and keep the crown of your head up tall. Spine tall as if you have that book on your head. Feeling that work going on. All right, now we're gonna hold that. We're gonna do a lat squeeze with your upper back. So you're gonna bring your arms up. And you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades up. Squeeze, so we're coming from the ceiling this time. If your legs need a break, then just stand up and do the arms. If not, you keep that leg behind you and you keep working the leg stationary while the upper body muscles are working too. So each time you come down, you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Each time you come up, you're bringing your arms by your ears. Looking good. And done. Take a break. Pedal out those legs. We're gonna step forward with the left leg this time. Left leg forward, right leg back. Dropping down into that nice stationary lunge and pulse it out if you can. Remember, we're focusing on that core balance right here and a lot of leg work. So you really have to zip up that waistline. Pull that belly button in tight. Feeling that work going on. Keep going. Almost there and stop. Now we're gonna bring those arms overhead and we're gonna squeeze that upper back. Each time you come down, you're squeezing. Up, squeeze. Remember, if your legs are fatigued or your knees are bothering you, then you need to bring those legs together and take a break with the legs, just to the arms. For our third set, we're gonna combine both moves and get them over with all at once. Nice squeeze, keep going, and done. Bring it in. All right, shake those legs out. We're only doing one more set of these, and we're gonna put the arms and the legs together. So we're going back to the right leg forward, back heel off the floor. And this time we're gonna do both the arms and the legs at one time, ready? And down, and up, down, and up. So we got a little multi-focus here. You gotta focus on squeezing the shoulder blades, but you also gotta focus on that balance and dropping that back leg and feeling the stretch right in the front of that thigh, all the way down to the thigh, to the knee. Squeeze the shoulder blades, keep it going, keep it going. Multitasking here, gotta get it all done. You got it, almost there. And done. Switching legs. Left leg is forward. Get that balance in there. Get that back heel off the floor. Ready? And bring it down and squeeze those shoulder blades. Same as before. Squeezing that upper back. Squeeze, lift. Down and lift. Down, lift. Remember, if you have shoulder issues, your hands can come in front of you a little more. I'm pulling back. You don't have to go by the ears if you don't want to. 
And if you are, have that ability, we want to keep that range of motion nice and long, all the way by the ears, all the way back down, and done. All right, good job. All right, so we have lots of strength work done already. Now we're going to switch um, to a little bit of core, strength and core com combination. Um, we're going to start with some chair crunches, so we're going to be seated. We're going to have three exercises this time. So we're going to be seated first, and we're going to do cross crunches. So you're taking those arms and legs across. You're going to start with that. Ready? And begin. Thinking about twisting that torso, pulling that belly button in, and lifting that knee. So if you don't have the ability to lift those knees and that's a problem, just keep the twist and focus on really tightening that belly tight. Adding the leg if you can. Go where you are comfortable. No injuries, be careful. So you really gotta suck that belly in, keep that waist tight, and stop. Now we're gonna stand up. We're gonna do plank on the chair. You can do it on the chair, you can do it on the floor if you desire, or you can do it on the wall. So if you're doing it on the wall, you're just gonna put your hands on the wall, walk your feet back until you feel a little bit of core work, keep everything straight. If you're doing it on the chair, we're going to go to your elbows if you can. We're going to hold it right here. Just a nice straight body. Shoulders are down away from your ears. And we're working everything. So you're feeling that core work. And what you want to be careful of is that your butt's not sticking way up here. But if you do need to take a break, you can do a little down dog here and then bring it back down. But we're trying to get to the point where we got a nice straight line from your head to your heels. Breathing it out. And then all the way back up and done. And then your third exercise in this round is going to be tapping the chair. We're just going to be really working that balance. So all you're going to do is tap your chair. Tap. So the goal is to come straight up in front and not to swing your leg around. We're working on that hip flexor and balance. Tap. So we're trying to tap the chair, not fall into it or lean into it. You're not really putting weight on it. If you need to choose something lower or you just need to tap in front, feel free to modify that as you need to. Still working it. You're not falling. You're lifting and lowering. And stop. All right, we're going back to that seated crunch. So we're going to do that twist again. Ready? And turn. 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 Nice twist, thinking about your core. Very good, keep going, keep going, hang in there. Last one, and down. Okay, we're going back to our plank. So a lot of moving around, if you need to modify that or just skip a set, skip an exercise, that's perfectly fine. We're going back to our planks. Elbows on the bench, the couch, the chair, hands on the wall, whatever works for you. Nice straight line. Breathing in, breathing out, don't hold your breath. Hang on, hang on, you're almost there. Three, two, one, and done. Walk it in. Woo! Good job. Okay, we got the taps again, working that balance. So this is a pretty rapid combo here. So break it up as you need to. Tap and tap. We're getting you up and down a lot. That's a problem. You figure out a modification that works for you. Toe tap, toe tap. Toe tap, good. Gently touching that chair. Stop. Woo, guess what? One more time. We got one more of those, all right? Last round and then we get to cool it down. So back to seated. Away from the back of the chair if you can, and twist it out. Almost there. 
five more seconds. Come on, you got it. Hang on, hang on. Done. Back up. All right. Last plank. Planking it out. Elbows. Chair. Hold. You can be on your hands if you like. A lot of times we have wrist issues, so if you're on your elbows, it takes those wrist issues out of it. Makes you work that core a little harder. Nice breath. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Hold that pose. Remember, if you need a break, stick your hips up, bring it back down. You got it. Walk it in, walk it in, walk it in. Careful bringing it back upright. Woo! All right. Last one. Toe taps. You got this. Ready? And tap. 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 Looking good. Hang on. Last round. Done. All right. Very good work. Grab some water. Going to slow it back down. Work on some stretches. Finishing everything up. Let's just swing those arms, loosen up those shoulders again. And let's bring those arms around you and just give it a little squeeze. Feel that stretch in the upper back and then release. Put the other arm on top, walk those fingers around, give yourself another squeeze. Nice hug. Great job today. And then release those arms. Take those hands and press them down and away from you, lifting that chest up, feeling that stretch in the chest and the front of the shoulders. Slowing that breath down a little bit. That last part had a little cardio mix in there. And let's release those arms. Let's bring one arm up and over and stretch out that tricep. You can push back here. You can grab overhead, palm facing the back of your, um, the top of your back. And then release that arm, bring the other arm up. You can push back from right here. If your shoulders allow, you can bring that arm overhead. Turn your palm so it's facing the top of your back. Feel a nice stretch in that tricep down the bottom of that shoulder, and release. Let's roll those shoulders around, loosen up that neck and the upper back. We did a lot of upper back work, a lot of chest work today. And bring those arms down. Let's bring those legs out, and let's go back to that stretch we started with. We extend that right leg out tall, long, and then push down as you hinge into that movement. So you're feeling the back of that leg in a nice stretch again like we did in the beginning. Nice breath. You're going to hold it a little longer if you can. Make sure that you got your hand on the opposite leg so you're not pushing this knee backwards. Nice length. Hold it there another second. Pull that toe back a little bit more. Dig that heel into the floor. And then slowly release. Rise up. Put that left leg out long. Pull the toe up off the floor. Put your hand on your right leg and extend that length in the back of your leg by pushing your heel into the floor. Nice breath, keep your back nice and straight. You're looking forward. I don't want you to drop your chin and your head down towards your foot. Keep that eyes up. One more breath, pulling that toe back, feeling the back of that leg stretch, and release. Now let's step forward with that right leg, keep that back heel on the floor, and let's just bend that front knee and feel a nice stretch in that calf on that back leg. Keep those hips squared, pointing straight in front of you. And if you want to get a shoulder stretch at the same time, you can put those hands down by your hips and lift your chest up. Nice full body length there, feeling that length from the crown of your head down to that back heel. And let's release that knee bend. Bring it in, switch legs, 
You want enough distance so you get a stretch, but not so much that you can't keep your back heel on the floor. Bend the front knee. Feel that stretch in that back leg. You're going to feel some here, some in the calf, a little bit here. You put those hands down at the back by your hips and lift your chest up. You get a nice full lengthening stretch from the top of your head again, down to that back heel. Take a few breaths right here, relaxing it out. Letting your body get that stretch. Feeling the length in that leg back there. And then slowly release that knee bend and bring it in. Let's bring those feet wide. Let's drop down into a nice deep stretch, stretching out those inner thighs that we work with those side lunges. Bringing it down, chest up. Just feeling a nice stretch through here. And then let's rise back up. Good. Now we're going to reach up and over like we did from the beginning, reaching across towards the top of that ceiling, feeling that length in the side of your body. And then if you buy, your body allows, rotate all the way down towards your leg. Feel that stretch. You can drop your head and shoulders at this point. You can drop that other arm. And then slowly bring that back up. Bring your hand up. Rotate back to the front of the room and then bring it back down. So up and over. Feel that stretch on the side. All the way down to that bottom of that foot. And then you can keep it right here, or if you want to go lower, you rotate it down and you bring it all the way down to the side of that leg. You're going to really feel a strong stretch in the back of that leg. And then roll it back over to the front. Use your hands and your core to bring you back up. And then a nice deep cleansing breath. Inhale, exhale, reach for the ceiling. And exhale it out. Great job, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and to see you again next time. Have a great day.